Hey everyone and thanks for watching. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create dynamic sub lists in real estate financial modeling. And where might you use this? Well, here's an example. It's my single tenant net lease valuation model. And you'll notice that under the property description, I have both a property type input, which you'd expect, and then a sub property type input. And what's cool here is the property type, of course, is a list. And I'll show you where, where this list comes from. It's a dynamic range. And this tutorial assumes you already know how to create dynamic ranges and then apply those dynamic ranges to data validation lists. If you don't, I'll link to a previous video I've done on the topic that'll teach you how to create these lists. But this is showing you how to take that, th that uh, technique and apply it now to sub lists. So uh, for instance, I have retail as my property type. And when that is selected, I then get a string of retail sub property types. Let's say I toggle this to office. I now get a string of office sub property types. Let's say I toggle to industrial. I get a list of industrial sub property types and so forth. And this is all housed and handled on a data tab. So what I have here is I have property and underneath property within this range, the user can enter uh, any values and those values then will appear in that list. So for instance, come over here, we can add hotel. And when we come, which you didn't expect in single tenant at least, but bear with me here, come to property type and you'll find now hotels in the list. And that again is because we're using a dynamic named range, again, taught in a, in a different tutorial. Uh, but what this, what's cool here is the, these property types that are linked to a sub property type, uh, uh, call it graph or whatever you want, you want to call it over here. And underneath each one of these property types, the user has the option to add sub property types. So for instance, for hotel, we can have limited service, maybe full service, um, extended stay. And now these items underneath hotel, which we added here in our property type, we added some sub property types and you'll find they now appear in our sub property list right? So full service hotel. So how did it work? Well, again, each one of these sub property types has its own dynamic name range. And then I, over here, I just simply used an index function to ask, okay, uh, which property type is selected on the, uh, uh, on the summary tab as the property type. And that's actually out entered here, right? So it, it, it went out and it calculated it using, using a mat, match and it calculated uh, based on that input on the summary tab, which of these property types is being uh, used. And then it pulls that over to here and then simply pulls the sub property types into uh, what is a dynamic name range specific to whatever selection was chosen, right? So Again, the match looks like this. The match asks which property type is being used on the summary tab or which property type is in this cell. And then it looks across this range and asks which column number is that property type. In this case, it's hotel. It's in column six. And so it outputs six here. And then down here, and, and this is then just pulling the property type from that cell on the summary tab. And then in this cell, it simply looks which uh, item in this range is in column six. In this case, it would be limited service. And then this cell is copied, or I'm sorry, this formula is copied down. And if it's blank, then it will output a blank value. And the named range in here, which is called list sub property type, this name range is going to pull only values. So it'll ignore blank cells within this section. And then that name range is added to uh, the data validation value. So go to data, data validation, and you'll see list sub property type. And thus we can move around. Let's go to you know industrial and we have all these industrial sub property types, 
etc. So that's uh, a technique for creating sub dynamic sub lists in real estate financial modeling. Let me know if you have questions. I, I know I didn't get it as much into the weeds on how this works. Uh, you'll need to review that uh, tutorial about using dynamic named ranges to create uh, uh, lists in, in, in Excel. So watch that. Uh, and then let me know if you have any questions on this. Uh, otherwise, thanks for your time. Thank you.